Chris's shop and uh, it's Chris's butt. So uh, about to do some ignition timing. Uh, I didn't realize uh, when I first started looking at the ignition for the Honda that uh, you know I, I asked Tenery said oh no it's all on the tables it'll you know uh, retard the time and everything for you so I was like, okay great well I didn't think I had to set an initial timing but I do should have been at 16 uh, degrees so <laughs> um, so <laughs> so uh, yeah it should have been set and supposedly if it's not set then it can cause the uh, head to lift so if it's if it's too far advanced it will actually lift the head and start bleeding by and pushing pressure into the radiator um, and that could be my problem I'm starting to lose a little bit of water um, and then again I may have messed it up the other day with the thermostat going bad uh, it could have screwed it up so uh, I need to get this fixed and then see where we're at I already got a, uh, a nice turbo head gasket coming in from Nippon racing uh, in Japan I've also got um, ARP head studs coming in and then some of that copper uh, gasket sealant and whatnot. So we're going to do that coming up pretty soon. But this is the next step. This needs to be done. Um, America. Right, I'm really just curious at the moment to see where the timing is. Um, so I'm just going to look and see what it's doing right now and shoot the timing light right down in here. There's, I don't know if you can see that. The timing marks are kind of showing up down in there. And uh, I don't exactly know where we're at, so. Um, yeah, I was just trying to see what the, what the timing was at the moment. So, first thing we're gonna do is uh, Chris has got us some wire. There's a service connector under the dash and you have to jump that out. That tells the computer not to control anything to allow you to change timing and stuff manually. So we'll do that. And then uh, the ignition, see advanced, uh, degrees advanced here. We're gonna turn that up to 16. When, and the reason we're doing 16 is because that's where the, the uh, ignition tables start on our ECU. So whatever your ECU is set up for is what you wanna put this at. So 16 is where we're at. So we're gonna put that there put our service connector in and then we need to adjust the timing all right so there's that service plug there's the ECU right up in here the green and then uh, that blue connector up in there is when we have to jump those two wires all right there is the uh, blue connector that's a little green thing that it was in the wires are jumped and uh, should be good to go all right the jumpers in there this is set at uh, 16 degrees and now we'll get her fired up and see exactly what we can see we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the distributor bolts you've got uh probably 12s right here three 12s that you have to remove so try that all right chris is gonna fire her up I need, then, I need a ladder <laughs> see where we're at here Ready? Ready. Give a couple reps. Get it cleaned up. So, you can see our marks down in here. So there's the two little white marks, and those line up, and you can just barely see the marks on the actual hub down there. You see the white mark there, you can see the three little marks there. Uh, and it's right pretty much in the middle of those three, and that's where we want to be. Uh, now we're going to pull the service connector out and see what 
uh, the actual data log reads. guys I just want to explain the, the timing process a little bit more so you check it with the light if you don't have an advanced timing light you can check it and it should be on the red mark which is 16 degrees that's normal timing if you check it with your timing light set at 16 degrees then it'll show up on top dead center so that's the best part about having an advanced timing light is all you have to do if, if, if you wanted it at 32 degrees of time and you set it at 32 and set your top dead center white mark there on on there and then it's really at 32 but you're setting it by top dead center most all cranks have a top dead center mark not all of them have other marks so that allows you to set it with the light since the honda has two marks you can check one with the light and then check the other one with it at zero which is the red mark so um that shows you both ways um and so got all that set we ended up bumping out just a few degrees of time and for the turbo uh, and that actually did work. That kept it from heating up and everything was good to go. So, there you go.